Hey YouTube, if you'd like to see how I made these sparkly, glamorous, resin epoxy reversible photo drink coasters, keep watching this video. Okay, so today in this video, I am going to be making some personalized coasters with this mold. And I am going to be using my Amazon Basics laminator. I have my lamination sheet right here. This is also by Amazon Basics as well. And I'm going to be using Pro Marine Supplies tabletop epoxy that was purchased off Amazon as well. Then I have a few things that I'll be possibly adding to these coasters. They're gonna be very sparkly. These are going to be a nice little housewarming gift um, for my client's daughter. Of course you'll need some gloves. I won't show myself mixing the epoxy up. I have another video doing that. I just want to get straight to the point. I do want to show you how I quickly laminate the photos so they will be preserved and they the color won't bleed or anything. I'm going to do them differently. I did, I've done some of these before but I'm going to do these a little differently and I'll let you know what I'm doing differently. Last time I put the photos face up so I can see the photo. This time, I'm gonna do the photo face down because you know when you make coasters, the bottom is really the top. But it's however you wanna do it, but you'll see what I'm saying. So I was wondering how can I get these photos to be smaller? So I made them into wallets. Unfortunately, when you go to Costco, you have to get, I couldn't get four different wallets because that would have been perfect. So I had to get wallets of all these pictures. But it's cool. I'm just going to give the picture so to her mom. So I'm going to one of each of these out. And I'm going to cut it as closely as I can. I don't want to have the whole photo just in there. I just want to cut around her as much as I can. Uh, mold then you could use bigger photos but I figured a wallet size would be perfect so you'll see how I do that so just go ahead and quickly watch me cut out as closely as possible These are the photos that I cut out. I wanted to cut them as closely as I could so they could just be cutouts, which I think would look a lot better than just having a big picture just plastered inside of the epoxy. I think this is better. This says, this on this picture was originally written with, um, they had a poster board at her photo shoot, I guess, and they wrote on it with a marker or it looks like a pencil and it, you really couldn't see it that well. So I just went in Photoshop and I just fixed it. So it says, if it ain't junky, it's funky. Because junky for nails, in case you're wondering, hit her up on the gram if you want. She is an amazing nail stylist. Her mom has been doing my nails for a long time. So these are the pictures I'm going to use. Let's see, let me just, Yep, those are gonna fit nicely. You see that? See how I cut it to the a decent size? They're gonna be face down. Just like that. That's how they're going to be. Then you'll see what else I'll do in the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and laminate these. Well, I'm gonna go okay, ahead and cut so the logo Okay, so here is too. my lamination sheet. You wanna just go ahead and open that up. If you have more things to laminate, that's cool too, so you don't waste a sheet. But it's Okay, so I have these all spaced out on here. Those are ready to go inside of my laminator hold that nice and steady and straight make sure it's nice and hot it goes in pretty slow 
but it's going through it gets nice and hot and then it comes out on the other side okay and they are all done laminating what I'm going to do I'm just going to pour just a touch of resin in four coasters I'm not gonna fill them up completely I'm just gonna pour just a touch it's self leveling so I imagine it should go to the whole circle I didn't want to pour too much because I've done that before and I end up wasting I guess you have a good what I want to say a good 20 30 maybe minutes to work with this before it starts to harden up and one time I stirred up a big old cup of it and it ended up hardening up on me and it was just a waste and I was very upset about that I have the fan blowing on high because this is very very strong It's very bubbly, so as you can see on the table, I do have a heat gun. So I learned my lesson. I'm going to work with very small amounts of epoxy from now on. first level you see it looks nice and cloudy so that is where the heat gun will come into play the heat gun is going to be perfect for this cloudiness a wet baby wipe works good to wipe your hands and everything off when you need to so I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat gun on low And as you can see, it makes those bubbles go away. At least most of them. Just a little bit, not too long. Because what I want to do is go ahead and add the photo because I want the photo, when I pop this out of the mold, once they're complete, I want it to be flipped over and the photo to be the first thing you see. Then on the back of it, my second layer will be glitter. We're gonna go with silver glitter. Um, this is gonna match her home decor, which is black and silver, and she likes very sparkly, pretty things. So I'm thinking about adding some of these face down. They're heavy, so they're weighted. These are a diamond, this is diamond confetti from Michaels. So I think I'm gonna drop some of those around the picture. So we're gonna go ahead and see how that works. And the cool thing too about me having those extras is if I mess up I have more photos to to do this with so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the photo in so it's to just float right like that see there I put the photo in there Put the photo in. Put this photo in. Now I'm going to put the final photo inside. I'm just taking the tweezers and pressing the photo down so that some of the resin holds it in place. That probably made a few bubbles come back, so I'm gonna go over this again 
with my heat gun. Now I'm just going to place a few of the diamond confetti inside. They're right here. There you go. Well, you can't see them. Right here. Okay, you can see them now. Well, it's supposed to. Okay. I'm just going to drop them in randomly. I just want these to be as sparkly as possible because she really does like a lot of bling. I'm facing them downward because remember the bottom is going to be the actual top and I have to move quickly because I don't want this to start to cure and get mushy on me and then it's not working properly so keep in mind the working time you have when using epoxy. Just trust the process. They're face down. I went ahead and placed the rest of the diamond confetti that you can purchase. I think it's like $7.99 from Michaels. And I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours. Then I'm gonna come back to it and put my second layer on, which is going to be silver glitter. Okay. Okay, so I'm stirring this up. It's real cloudy looking too. This is day two. I gotta move fast for this because I told you I had some dry up on me before and I did not like it. Let me just go ahead and unmold one of these just to show you what it looks like. This is just the first step. Ooh, so the photo is in it. The diamond confetti is in there. I'm gonna go over that in the back so you won't just see blam, <laughs> a white backing of a picture. You'll see glitter. All right, so it looks white. So I've been stirring this real good. Now I'm going to pour some glitter in here. Uh oh, something's in my glitter. See that? I poured a hefty amount in there. Now I'm gonna stir that up really good. Let me just pop one more out just to see. Okay, carefully. And you see how thin they are? They're gonna be much thicker when I put the other layer on the back. Hey, that's so cute. It's just slight itty bitty little bubbles at the bottom. It's not really noticeable. It's gonna be so cute. 
Once I go ahead and put that glitter on the back, I'm going to start okay. right here. I may need to mix up some more. It looks like I only have enough for these three coasters, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather keep mixing it up as I need to. Cause I don't want to lose out like I did before making too much and not working with it fast enough. Hit it with the glue gun, the heat gun. Now I'm going to add the glitter. Hefty amount of glitter there. So they can be nice and sparkly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that set, then we'll come okay, back tomorrow. So I am back. I am going to unmold these. Oh, it just looks a little dull for me, but it is cute. I just wanted to see a little more glitter in the back. I think the the resin is a little cloudy in the background. But if I do like a, a doming effect to this and add another layer of clear that could clear this up, let's just see what the other ones look like. But this picture is so pretty and I like how you can see the diamond confetti really good. So let's see what the next one looks like. Oh, this one is really cloudy. This is a beautiful picture as well. Yeah, but uh, Yeah, these are cute, but I just want it to be a bit more sparkly. Really cute. I want to see if I can get these a little more sparkly. I think I'll use a different glitter and just go ahead and redo these. You see how, for some reason, this is like extremely cloudy. You see how the back is super glittery? I would like for it to be more like that. But for this to be my first set of coasters, using the diamond confetti and doing the two layer effect, 
I mean, I've made other little plaque things, but this is my first like coaster coasters with pictures face down. I think they're really nice. I just want them to be a little more clear if possible and more glittery. So we're gonna just try this again and then we'll compare them and see which ones are the best. Okay, so I already have my resin all stirred up. So just to make sure we don't have any cloudy resin going on this time, I looked up a couple tips and tricks. I saw that some people had their resin sitting in warm water to kind of keep it nice and loose. Cause see, it's that cloudy. Look at that, all milky looking. So let's just see if this works. Try this out together. So if it works for me, then it should work for you. Let's just see, can we see any difference? I'm just gonna hold it in here for a moment. Give it a nice little stir. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed past this part because you did just see me make a whole set of coasters. I'm just doing them again so they can be better. But you kinda got the gist of what I did the first time. My main focus is making sure that my resin is more clear. So that's why I'm trying to focus. So I have my resin uh, newly poured because I, I said I'm gonna redo them. And just to give you an idea of the difference, and then haven't even molded all the way because they're just still a little. Okay, I want to see if you could tell the difference. I want my issue. It was I felt like it was a little too cloudy. This one is just the first layer, but to me it's a little more clearer than the back. It's gonna have glitter. I just want to make sure it has a real, real sparkly. See, it seems like the glitter just kind of sunk. So with these, I'm gonna make these reversible. So it'll be either way. So now I have my resin. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of it in this cup and add glitter to that. So I'm going to do that now. And I found that the water, I guess, the point of the hot water is so that it won't be so cloudy I don't know if you could tell the difference or not. It is like really nice and smooth. So I'm still, you know, learning. That's how much I'm gonna pour in this cup. I'm going to add this very pretty holographic glitter like that. I'm gonna put some of this fine glitter in here. And I'm going to just give it a nice little stir. Okay, more light the better. Give that a nice stir. Make sure everything is nice and flat. Okay, I'm going to pour it just like that.
Okay, please let that be enough. I may need a little bit more, which is fine. That's why I made sure that I more uh oh put a lot of glitter in there that time stir that up Ooh, that's so glittery and so pretty Okay, so I had some extra glitter left over and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just had these extra silicone molds laying around just for this reason. So that's why I'm filling up this little comb mold. And then I also have a little rectangle mold. Oh, okay, that's the beautiful photo that I'll be adding. Now, as you can see, I am adding the photos inside of the resin. And I'm just going to gently press that down a little bit. Not too much because I don't want a lot of glitter covering up the photo. Now for this next step, I am adding clear as a coat over the photo. You can wait until the silver glitter behind the photo dries, then come hours later and add the clear, just so it doesn't press the photo down too deep and then it's all covered with glitter. But thankfully mine worked out for me, but that's another option or a different way that you can do yours. This is the second set of coasters I did. Um, it's been a couple days. For some reason, one of these coasters just did not want to cure. I think I made a mistake and got a little bit of water in my resin when I did this coaster right here. Let me scoot this over so you can see this a little better. Okay, so please forgive me. I don't have the first set I did because I dropped them off to her yesterday. I told her, I sent the picture of them to her and I, I insert another picture in here too. I sent the picture of them to 
to um my nail tech which is her mom and she liked the coasters and they were pretty they were cool but i know that i could have did them better and they could have been a little more clear i didn't realize when it started to get colder that more gas builds up in the epoxy or whatever i guess and i looked up some videos online that i should sit my resin in a um in hot water as you saw that i did and i stirred it slower which did help so i think these look so much better and i made these um reversible so these are just better she than just the first, keep the first one. ones for herself and take the other ones back from her daughter if she didn't give them back to her or not yet i don't know but her daughter Imani, you are going to love these. I feel like you are because I made them more sparklier. I used a finer cut glitter. Okay, let's just unmold them. Let's start here. And they're so nice and thick. Nice and slow. Okay. I probably just have to sand this little sharp piece right here. But I noticed that they took longer to cure because it was, I guess, a little more colder. It's like um, towards the end of September. So when I made some coasters like back in July, they cured way faster, quicker because it was hot in the house. That's what I'm assuming. Cause I'm still kind of new to this resin thing. And um, I love this holographic glitter. Then this is the front side. And I think it looks nice. I do. I did also put the diamond confetti in there again, which I thought was a really nice touch. And I just feel like they look better. You can see itty bitty slight bubbles, but you're going to have some bubbling. You know, I did press the photos downward into the um, epoxy. And um, I don't know. I like it. I think they're super cute. Let me just pull the rest of them out and then I'll talk, I guess. But I'm digging this. Like for real, so cute. And then let's pull the next one out. I just love the fact that they're reversible because I told you in order to get the photo to fit into this size coaster, I had to get wallets and I had like four of each picture that I got from Costco. So it only made sense to use them if I could, like why not? And you see what I did, so it's like a couple layers here. I did this layer clear, pushed it down in there. Then I added the diamond confetti. That's really cute. Then on the back of that, I sprinkled some of the bigger confetti holographic glitter. Let that cure for a day. Like this was like a two, three day. These were like, honestly, like a three day process. Then I came back, mixed up some glitter put that layer on, then I set the picture on top of that, let that sit, well, for a few minutes, I think I let it sit. I did it while it was wet, cause it was just gonna be like too many days, it seems like. Then I went over this with some clear. Now there is a little bit of glitter sparkle that kind of covered up as it closed up over the picture, but I'm fine with that because you can still see the photo very good. And it's so nice and heavy and solid and it's like, and I was thinking too, like, should I have the same photo? I don't think it better. It's like two different pictures. Like, however she feeling, like, however she feel, you know? But, you know, I had to learn too. And that's why people said, I'm gonna find out who she is. <laughs> Cause she, the lady in my comments did say, next time, try to put the photo face down because when you take it out, the bottom is really the top. And it, cause it has like that smoother finish but you could do it however you want to do it either side it's so heavy and so solid so i think that is cool now and i love these molds i have a link to where to purchase these molds from too if you want to purchase that look at this fly girl if it ain't junky it's funky that's her slogan so cute and then you flip it over if it ain't junky, it's funky. All right. I think this is such a cute idea as a gift to somebody who just got a new home, who just moved into their new apartment, 
especially if they're like her and like the sparkle and the glitter her and her mom love a nice little sparkle nice little glitter situation so these are perfect and I know she's gonna love them again if you have any like sharp edges you could just kind of file those down but yeah see it's two different pictures on there I think but as long as when you flip them over they're all different pictures you know so let's move on to this last one Ooh wee this one gave me so many problems like it did not want to cure like it just kept being sticky to touch but I found out that I had a little bit of water in my resin so it just didn't cure it just didn't cure so I had to mix up some more resin pour it on top so this one might be like almost overflowing out of here but it still worked out super cute yes so my issue I had with the first ones, I felt like it was too much cloud and not enough sparkle in the background. But I think these are a lot better. But I think somehow I pressed the diamond confetti down further and you could see them better. But this is still really nice. I just wish I had them so I can do a side by side. But hopefully you could tell from just looking at the video that these are a lot better. I feel better with these. And again, the photo on the back. Now this photo on the back, it's nice. It isn't as clear as the other ones because I had to put two layers of clear on top of this. The first layer of clear had it looking a little bit more, a little more clarity for the picture, but it still looks really good. You know, and then once I do more of these, I'll figure out the best tip, tips and tricks for it. But I think this is really nice and it's so solid like you could just really hurt somebody with this heavy thick thing. But yeah, I think they came out really, really, really pretty. Really super cute. And you guys can let me know what side do you like the best. Let me move this out of the way. And yes, I do have a dog head down. I feel like it works a lot better than just having down the, um, the, the parchment sheet. It's just better. So... Which one do you guys like better? And I'm gonna take them out in the sunlight and real quick so you can see too. I'll do a photo. I'll insert a photo. I don't even know if I got a really good photo of the other ones, but I really like these. So this is the second set I made. Cause the first set was cool, but I felt like they could be better. You know, the more you do something, the better it gets, so. These are your reversible drink coasters. Oh yeah, and then also when I was running out, I mean when I had too much left over, I poured some in the mold. Look, I had some spillage here. But here is a cone mold, and I know I had too much, so I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, but look at this, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. But look, it's like a, it's webbed, I guess you would say. It's too much epoxy in between here. Maybe I can figure out how to cut that in between. These are fine. But right here, I can't get my finger through there. So I'll figure that out. Oh, and I had a bracelet mold that I did. Cause you don't want to waste any epoxy. So any other little molds you have. Ooh, this is hard to get out of here. Ooh. Woo, woo. You want to pour it in something, you know, just because. This is a little bangle half C cut bracelet mold. Woo, this is hard to get out of here. Okay, I'll do that one last. I had this one too. I can always go over this with a different color. I know it's super plain, but I'm gonna go in the back with maybe some glitter or color. I just didn't want to waste the um, the overage that I had, so we have that. Cutie pies. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. Come on, come on. I don't want to rip the mold. Why is it so hard to get out? Oh, there we go. Okay, look at that. It's pretty. 
I got some overage here, so. Ooh, we got a lot of overage spillage. So what I'll do is just kind of break this off and sand it down the best way I can. But that is really pretty. I like this glitter. Got that from Walmart. It's really cute. So I'll fix that later. This is pretty much the end of the video. And I'm gonna just take these outside and show you how cute they look outside. Okay, so this is the final look. I wanted you to see how they look outside, how sparkly and beautiful they are. You can really see the very nice clarity here. If you'd like to check out her Instagram page, it is at Junkie for Nails. She is extremely professional and she does a wonderful job at laying her acrylic and her shaping and her designs. Her nail art is crazy. And hopefully she will start a YouTube channel just to help people with some more insight and education as, as to how she made it to the level where she is in her career as early on as she did because she's very young and she's extremely talented. So go ahead and check her out. You won't regret it. Now in this photo, you do see at the bottom the first set of coasters I did, which I felt were cloudy. And the top set at the top, I think you can tell the difference. And here's another photo of the second set I did, which I like a lot more. I hope you enjoy this video and receive some inspiration. Bye-bye.